29 sabers from sacks. They came from 29 fellas who never had their arms. We found the lady from 29 fellas. She's hip, hip, hippie, I got it. beyond those known to the people of any other day and as responsible as anyone else for the care of these bounties is the woman in the American home. times when she feels lonely in this responsibility to her family, yet she carries it in ways that are varied, in ways that are many, in ways that call for careful planning and for further use of what we already have, for making do so nothing will be wasted, or doing without. As she lives her life as the woman American, we often seem to charge her with the responsibility of getting more out of the family purse than is there. Her art of working with the family helps provide us with the daily necessities. And perhaps some of our delightful American privileges of life. based on saving, by reducing the family needs, as well as by spending, for she spends to save, and saves to spend.
she spends carefully for the needs of the day in order to provide for all the years to come. In any American home, the woman American uses the resourcefulness of her personal efforts to make the family money go round in the search for quality and price. the purchases have been good ones, they can serve new owners as time goes on and will last and last and last and last and last. <laughs> as a French chef might say. Say like, il fait la soupe. In other words, it's the little touch of seasoning that makes the dish just right. Mm -hmm. But suppose you get in too much seasoning. Well, then it's no good. Well, that's right. And it's just the same as glamour. Now, glamour, you know, is... Now, in order for it to be effective, that means that everything else must be right. Glamour and poison charm, too, are all based simply on good grooming. Mary, poison charm are personality traits. What do they have to do with clothes, makeup, and hair? Well, poise, you know, is simply a state of mind. It comes as a result of confidence in the way you look. If you know you look well, your clothes are right, your makeup natural, your hair neat, the assurance of all these things brings with it that elusive poise. So, poise comes from good grooming. And charm. Well, now, charm is the ability to make other people happy and comfortable with you. Now, that means that you must forget yourself and concentrate on putting the other person at ease. Right? Right. Uh, and I assure you, no woman can do that successfully if she's worried about the way she looks. Mm -hmm. uh, is her lipstick on straight? Uh, has she a run in her stocking? <laughs> or uh, is her hemline even? So, you see, good grooming comes right in at the front door again. Why, Mary, I never thought of it that way. concerned with weighing the cost of present needs against the rewards of saving for future necessities. While always she considers price, she looks also for those values, those qualities that provide for better appearances or promise to give us lasting satisfactions. We see to it that whatever we buy is functional that it is individually suited to the purpose for which we are to use it. The fine art of practicing economy with a larger view. Low first cost, yes. And suitability, the most value for the money spent as time goes on. And one thing more. We want the article that best serves our heart's desire. She's the lady from 29 pounds. She left 29 broken hearts. Broken in 29 parts. Now there were 29 fellas complaining to their mom about the lady from 29 pounds. She left 29 Cadillacs, Bowdoin. 29 sables from sacks. They came from 29 fellas who never had their arms around the lady from 29 pounds. She's a yip, yip, yippy-eyed dolly.